What's going on guys, Danny with HVAC Tech Tapes. Today we've got a service call for a commercial retailer. Uh, the call, or at least the work order says that they want some temporary thermostats installed for a couple units. I'm under the impression that I've already installed those. So we're gonna check it out, see what's going on, if it's not cooling and why. Let's go. All right, so we just got roof access. This one's a little weird. It's a little different call. The work order is asking me to put in some temporary thermostats on two units. I'm gonna check those out first to make sure that they already have them because they should and to make sure that the unit is running and cooling efficiently. All right, here's my first unit. I'm gonna check if there's a temporary thermostat in there. We're waiting for zone sensors to arrive, so that's why we're using temporary stats. Let's see. This just goes right here. All right, so unit is running and there is no thermostat plugged in. I believe it had one, but we have the communication guys working on them too, so it looks like they installed the proper communication board here. Seems like it's running though, so let's let's check out all the vitals. Let's get our delta T's and all that. All right, starting to make a little more sense now. There's no more temporary stats in these units. I guess the communication guys removed it because they put their new control board in to act as a thermostat, right? But they don't have sensors yet for these units. So there's no, there's nothing reading inside what the temperature is to call for cooling. So that's the issue right now. Let's install some temporary stats until they bring the sensors out. Let's get to work. All right, next call, we're here in mission. We got another RTU unit. This one's throwing an error code, A099. That means it has a lost connection with the SIOB board. Um, that's gonna be this little board down here. We got the system view on this one too. So I troubleshooted it, uh, made sure we had voltage, made sure all the wiring was good. It has power, it's just not communicating. I spoke with tech, uh, carrier tech support, they said to, pretty much said to do everything I checked already. And now the next step is I'm gonna swap the board with one that I know is working and communicating. If it works, that means that board's bad and we gotta get a new one. So let's swap it out. All right, to so swap it is really simple. You got these connections, they just plug right off just like an ethernet cable would. You got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six screws, six screws there. 
it's really easy plug and play so let's take them off forgot there's spiders in this one <laughs> felt all the webs take them off you take a picture before you know just to make sure you got it wired up good i already got my picture so that's why i'm just plugging away we'll see We got it wired up. I'm not gonna put all the screws because I'm just testing it out. I'm gonna put this back in the other unit. Let's turn on power. Hope it doesn't explode. All right, we waited for the time delay. We got no more alerts of lost connection. So pretty safe to say we got a bad board. We're gonna quote to replace that and we'll go from there. That's pretty much it. All right, y'all, that's a couple of my calls that I had today. Hope you gained something from it. Hope you learned something or if it was some value or benefit to you. Leave a like, leave a comment, any tips, any questions you got, tips from veterans, questions from new people like me, leave it down below. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great one.